Oh. My. Word. Goodness. I'm just a girl. Good morning, I'm friends. Girl. Today I am in Columbus, Indiana, and I am at Picker's Paradise. I've not been in here before, so let's go check it out. I'm going to walk around without a cart first just to kind of scope it out because right now I'm walking in and it seems like it might be oh look at all those plushies might be a lot of new items which is not what we're looking for I mean it's not all new things there are some vintage pieces here oh that is a that is a big chonky bracelet so I went ahead and grabbed a cart it's right there there's nothing in it yet but uh, why not? You know, you never know. This stuff is pretty. $6.99. The silver fade is pretty. It's $2.50. All right, we're looking for kitschy, fun, and fabulous. Those are kind of fun. I always look for earrings and stuff for me, too. I like different earrings. Those are kind of different. Those are kind of too long, though. I think so. Those might bug me a little bit. This is pretty. $4.99 for that green brooch. That's pretty. Ow! Just poked myself with it. Okay. Let's. Ooh, what's this? This is Fenton. This custard glass. It's got, oh, it's got a big hole in it right there. That's unfortunate. That is Fenton, twenty-one fifty. It's pretty. There's a lot more brooches here. That one's seven fifty. Hmm. Oh, here's a little bug. He's cute. Seven dollars. Some little butterflies. Ooh, micro mosaic. Four fifty. Yes, please. Those aren't micro mosaic. Those are wood. Those are pretty too. Two ninety nine. Oh, I kind of like those. Oh, hi, baby. Hi. What's up? How you doing? I like your boots. Pretty cool. Antique advertising paper dolls. Shirley Temple. More little lane paper dolls. Paper doll portraits. <gasps> Dolly Dingle. Dolly Dingle. Now these are reproductions obviously, but you know I'm going to have to get it because it's Dolly Dingle and I like Dolly Dingle. How much is this? $1.75. Should I get vintage advertising paper dolls? This is also $1.75, but I mean I'm thinking if anything, I can use them as I can use them as um Package chopper Shirley Temple's been cut up. What do we got down here? What books? Is there any good books down here? It's French fashion dolls. Originals of yesterday. Richard Simmons. Oh, I miss you, Richard Simmons. We miss you. Come back. Here we have a little American Greetings raspberry tart mug. You see, it's, it's Anchor Hawking. You see Strawberry Shortcake, but you don't see Raspberry Tart very often. She's got a little bit of wear right there, but she's $5. I'm going to get her just because she's she's like childhood. God, Jesus, dolls. Wow. $15. Hmm. That's interesting. Here's $16. You are cute. Painted by Ethel in 1984. You know what I like, you ghosty. We're gonna get you. Down here is a basket full of memories, Cabbage Patch dolls. Look, there's Mrs. Beasley. Hi, I'm Mrs. Beasley. Wonder if she still works. She's $25. Let's see. Okay, I've got Mrs. Beasley. Let's see if she still works. It's really funny because this is fit and I just sold this during 4 in Vintage. The little milk glass. Um, powder dish. 
It's a big ice bucket thing too. Okay, we got a Tom and Jerry eggnog bowl. Those were cool. Okay, here's a little dresser light. I'm trying to see a lot of the petals are broken off. It's eight dollars. Well, it was four dollars, but this tag says eight dollars, but a lot of the petals are broken off, but it's very, very pretty. Well, hello, Mr. Lamb, thirty-nine dollars. Hmm. It's a proud horse. For twelve ninety five. Here's a little Pepsi Cola bottle. I'm having a bottle sale. Well, you'll be seeing this video after my bottle sale is over. I had a bottle sale on whatnot. So hopefully I sold most all of my bottles. Fingers crossed. Ooh, look at this little bottle though. Gorgeous. Three ninety five. It's a little perfume bottle. Some of these little bottles can be made by Lalique, so you have to kind of look. Lots of littles in this booth. I like that. This has the stopper in it. That's that's neat. I don't know that that's the original stopper. It says Pyrex on the... Does this say... It's $14.95. Um, Pyrex made a lot of like beakers and stuff. I'm not honestly not certain they made a lot of perfume bottles. Oh, the bargain bin. A dollar an item. No, I'm not. I better be careful because some people yelled at me. They think they said I was too rough on things, even though they were McDonald's toys that were wrapped in plastic. Six ninety five for the little. Melmac pieces. Oh, I think. Yeah. There's a little Valentine's Day hanky. I like those. $3.95. I don't know. Alright, let's keep let's keep looking. So I'm pretty sure that this is your stomach. Maybe? He's a little stomach plushy. I'm your stomach. He is. Three ninety five. They're probably like a promotional thing that like people that were selling drugs like would go to the you know like they go to the doctor and they'd peddle their wares oh there's a little vintage caboodle huh this is I think this one is a vintage one let's see 1992 it sure is it's $10 I think I'm gonna get that. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. I like it. Well, there's a little piece of poop poop. A poop poop bank. Oh my goodness. Fozzie. I loved Fozzie. I don't think that you are old. There's a little Campbell's soup doll. Are you snap, crackle, or pop? Oh, you're snap. It says so right there on your little bib. Snap, crackle, and pop. Rice Krispie Treats actually sound really good right now, but I need to eat lunch. Who are you? Hmm. I don't know. Just a little girl. I've not been in here before, so I don't, I'm not really, I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh, that Hershey's doll is neat. And there's Barney. This is just a flea market and you just never know what's going to be around the corner. Go into this. Let's go into this little booth. They got some vintage in this booth. That tray is neat. It's twenty-eight dollars for the tray. It's a little spendy for me for resale. All right. Oh, well, that's neat. They've got like chicken wire on that star. That's pretty cool. But look at that big baby. Wanting her cake. Adorable. We've got some books. Patrol book. Junior Girl Scouts. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little, um, from 1971. They met at the Presbyterian Church from four to five. That's kind of neat. Junior Girl Scouts. Oh, she's got all of her friends' phone numbers in there. 
This is $2. It's kind of neat. She didn't do that great of a job of filling it out. <laughs> Except for the phone numbers. I don't know. I might get that. Oh, sweet pickles. <gasps> Grover's little red riding hood. I love Grover because he always put his own spin on things. You know? No. What is she doing here? She doesn't belong in the story. There's Prairie Dawn. You know, he always put his own spin. And I appreciated that about him. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's kind of scary. This is an old one, though. Probably from the 50s. It's $6. Belonged to the Meyer family. Wow. 1948. <laughs> she's just kind of creepy looking, isn't she? There's Gam Gam. Gam Gam get oh I wonder if it tells yeah he ate he ate Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother up it's in really good condition I wonder if the modern one has him eating grandma is it gonna say oh yeah it says grandma isn't here yeah this is the more violent one I'm not going to get it because I have so many little golden books. There's another little Red Riding Hood. Oh, down Friendship Lane. Aww. I don't know if I'm going to get the patrol book. Don't yell at me. Let's look over here. Oh, I see a July girl. Oh, I'm caught. I'm caught. It looks like her wings and her head. She's $15. Uh, I'm so used to that other place that I was at today I was having sales. I don't think I can do 15 on her, but she's very, very, very cute. Look at this old stapler. I have one just like that on my desk. What does this say? Sex on the beach is better in, than sand in your novel. We won't read the rest of that. What's over? What are these? Little green stamps. Bender stub. Vendor State of Ohio prepaid sales tax. Huh. Little vouchers. Two dollars. I might get one of these. Well, how much is this one? Two fifty. You can get a lot more in there for fifty more cents. Are these all Ohio? I'm gonna get one of these just so I can use them as package toppers. Fun little thing to put on people's packages. Oh look at that baby. That's a walking baby. She walks. And she's happy about it, too. I've had these guys before, I do believe. All right, I'm... Oh, there's Halloween over there. Okay, I'm going to get to the Halloween booth here in a minute. But this is a beautiful piece of Shawnee. It is $35, which is pretty retail. But it's beautiful. It has a deer in it. I'm going to go out on the limb and say that does not... Well, I know that this doesn't go with this. But that's a nice try there. These, these birds are really pretty two in color full looks like a little piece of fenton up here for 15 this caught my eye not this because i think this is new but the foaming beauty bath it's eight dollars see this is the kind of stuff that i like foaming beauty bath i wonder if it's avon but it's cool with that label on it it's eight dollars let me take off the stopper before I break it. Let's see what the tag says. Fragrant Bellows of Beauty Bath Foam. I don't know. Look, it has the embossed bottle there. It does look pretty cute on this little thing here. The tray is $8 too, but... I don't, I'm not going to get it, but it's pretty cool. I do like to pick these up. God bless our mobile home. It's $5, so I'm going to get that. I like it. Now I'm in the Halloween area. I wonder. I haven't even picked anything up to see how much some of the things are, but I wonder. Let's see. Look at those little witchy. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's not old, but he's $8.99. Somebody's painted him, but I love that pumpkin. 
Okay, this is the kind of stuff too that I love. This is made by Dandy. It's from the 90s, I think. No, 1989, but it's $2.99. It's a smooshy head, and they're, they're actually pretty collectible. I am going to get him. Let's see what else is up here. I see these trays back here, and I see this pumpkin man. But these trays, I think, are from the 80s too. $9.99. Look at that. Oh, look at the creepy creeper. And there's a, the um, sleepy, what's this? sleepy hollow guy, Dracula, Frankenstein. Witchy, witchy, witchy. All right, this tray is $8.99. It is made in Brazil. Um, but I love that. I love that. I'm going to get that. I think that's really cool. That'd be great for a backdrop. Goodness, look at this little fella. He's an incense burner. He's made in Japan. He is Happy Feet Incense Burner. He's $29. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. And look how the smoke comes out of the tops of his feetsies. That's adorable. Alright, I've sold these before. These and I the ones I the ones I had, the yellow flower was broken. It's in a little frosted jack in the pulpit vase. It's $12.99, but some of these flowers do glow. I know that the this one does and the yellow one does glow. I am gonna get that. I know that it, I, I mean I've sold it before. What is this? This incense. That's cool. $19.99. An incense tin. That's amazing. I just don't know how much more I can get out of it when I resell it. Okay. Hello, Mr. Moose. And there's Miss Goose, too. I've seen those before, but it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Look at this little guy. He's $16.99. Normally you see little squirrels on him, but that one's a raccoon. Hmm. We're still in the same booth. Oh, these are fun. These googly eyes. One is my limit. Four ninety-nine. What's this one say? Down the hatch. Marty and Opal. There's their plates. Chocolate cat. There's lots of interesting things. Ooh, what are these? Oh, they're like, I thought that they were like Frankenstein. They're like Mardi Gras. Lights. There's chili pepper lights down there too. It looks like the Twinkie Cowboy, but I don't think that's who that is. Papa. Look. And Papa. Lucky there's little baby Jeff Jeff on his little uh, skateboard. Oh goodness, look at this little stove. That's adorable. It's ten ninety nine. Oh my goodness. Okay, that would be great for Halloween display too or Christmas because of that color. So I'm gonna get that. That's adorable. And this booth is ten percent off. So that that does help a little bit. Some vanity powder trays, $13.99. Oh, rock. 18. This little Fenton boot for $17. Little pig things. Oh my gosh. New kids on the block and 90210 big buttons. In India. Okay. Well, here is a cute little book here The Question Book for Young Folks. It's from, I think it's from the 1940s. But, I mean, it just has questions and answers. It's $4. Where is the lowest point on the Earth's service, surface? How many squares has a checkerboard? Just general knowledge. What's this? That's newer. But, I was going to show you. That, like, it, even, even he doesn't want to be a clown. I'm not allowed to take him home. But I have a thing for these old school bills. This one's particularly cool. It's six dollars. But I like how the handle is worn. It means it's been used. I think it probably had some sort of a finial like that one does. This one's ten dollars. I like the patina and they have now I have a, do have a little collection of these little service bells. Please, sir, I'd like some coffee. I already have several of those, so I'm not going to get those, but I'm going to get these two. With this 20% off. And it looks like they've got fun things. Are you a lamp? 
Oh, let's see. You have batteries in you. Oh, fun. That's cool. I think it was probably sold at Target. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, oh, there's, who's Lofty? I thought it was Bart Simpson. <laughs> Guess not. Guess not. But I was hoping they'd have some vintage toys, but it looks like it's all, there's a big SpongeBob and a Marvel zombie. But I was hoping that there'd be some vintage toys over here, but I think it's all modern. Well, that's not what we want. All right, so here's some little German Shepherds. My niece loves German Shepherds. I mean, loves them. This is four-piece family. Okay, so I guess you get all of those for $12.99. I was just thinking about getting this for her for $6.99 just to have like a little figurine. And then there's also this planter here that's $9.99. But I was also looking at this. This is old. It's $18.99. And it's, I think she's like a servant, but she looks like she's waiting on her. Oh, she's just looking to see. But I'm gonna get that because I think that is pretty stunning. and. I know I'm probably going to at least get that one. This little chain family. I mean, they are... I'm going to go ahead and get that. I mean, they're $12.99, though. I don't think you necessarily go with them. But, okay. So, yeah, I might get all of those German Shepherds. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I'm definitely going to give one to my niece. Probably for Christmas. But let's just look around here. In this booth and see what else we see if we see anything else oh a little bit of indiana glass it's missing its lid though cute booth look at this that's so cute that's adorable cherished life booth and flowers it's 22 to i'm like that would be so cute on somebody's porch it's a new boot but my gosh that's adorable. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I think that this booth, I want to say, did I see? No, shoot. But this is, it's 74 by 88 unfinished patchwork quilt top with um, briar stitch with sham. So it has the pillow sham. It's got the spark cloth, but look at this fabrics. So it's an unfinished quilt topper. That's groovy. It's $30 though, but I, I'm gonna get it. I think that somebody would love, I mean, that is just, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I think it's cool. My goodness. I would get, if I had space, I would get that. I love going to the beauty shop and sitting underneath the hair dryer, but I just noticed this little cut to clear. It's $14. I like that. Ooh, these are nice. $56. Okay, I found a couple books. They are wonder books. They're $2 each. But we got Merry Christmas, Mr. Snowman. And it has, oh my gosh, ooh, look at that little nugget. And look at the snowman. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can get that off to make it where it won't damage the cover. But look at this. It's got the littlest snowman. I love you truly. Oh my goodness adorable adorable what is copyright date on this it's a wonder book 1956 so we're gonna get both of those we're getting to be a full cart but i think we're just about done my you're pretty creepy buddy you're three dollars but it's locked i don't want to mess with going up there and unlocking it but this it has some cute this is mccoy this little what is that venetian Uh, you know what I mean. And then this booth has a lot of McCoys. I thought about this. I've had these before, but it's $3. But you whistle for your beer. And then here are some fit and shoes. There's this one's $7. And this one is also $7. Vintage set of wooden blocks in their original. $7.50. I wonder if they're all still there. 
number wood blocks. Oof, we're gonna open it up. And they're in there. I don't know how many it says. 16 blocks. But they're all the number blocks. I'm just a sucker for this stuff. I think they're probably a 1974. I just remember having toys like this. 750. I'm not seeing so I don't know. So this booth is 50% off. And the first thing that I saw was this. The Wonder Belt. Oh, oh you could get it at Hills. How much is this? I mean, it's, it's going to be two bucks. I mean, that graphic. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. Health Watchers of America look better, feel better. You can wake up your body. I don't know what you do. Oh, it's a sauna. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, you would sweat a bit with that. Okay, we're going to get this because the graphic is just too good. Gosh, no. Oh, ow, it's so heavy. Ankle weights. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to get those because that would cost a fortune to ship. But here's a little piece of treasure craft, I do believe. Yep. Good old King's Island. I haven't been there since the early 90s, but I don't know. I'm sure it's nothing like what it used to be. Look at you. I miss the old King's Island. Oh my word goodness. So it's 50% off. It's shirt tails. Color forms. Oh my gosh. Look at little Digger. Digger was always my favorite. Oh, it's taped together. I will have to work on getting the box on tape, but it does... Wait, wait, no, 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 we can't open it. Good. Oh my gosh. I gotta smell them. They don't smell like color forms used to smell. Okay, that's going in the cart for sure. Oh, hi, baby. Okay, so this book would be like $1.50, but look at that. I want to live in that house, and I want to go to the party that's going on in this house. Oh gosh, the binding's a little funky, but I just like the cover of it. It's only for the price. And then they have these McCall's cocktail books, but then this one here is, what on earth is that? It's a cello mold. So this would be like 75 cents each. Um, there's another one. Oh, two more. Book of Marvelous Meats and oh, Merry Eating. We like Merry Eating. I wonder what the recipes look like in here, though. They got fun. Yeah, they do have fun graphics. You know what? I'm going to get those. I don't care about the meats, but you know, it's like a four piece set. It's a four piece set. So we'll get those. Well, Picker's Paradise did not disappoint. Wow. I've never been here before, but I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. It was such a clean and well, my GPS system signal is lost, but sorry, I'm currently listening to an audible about Jean Harlow in Hollywood. And I thought I had turned my volume down, but apparently I had not. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Listen, if you are in Columbus, Indiana. Stop in Picker's Paradise. So clean and so nicely organized. Definitely, definitely a great place. So thank you guys so much for shopping along with me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your on your way out and subscribe to my channel. I also have a live channel where I have all of my live sales. It is the first link down below in the description. It's Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter Live. So if you see anything that you might be interested in though before I have my sale, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and I'll let you know if it's available now or if it's going to be available in an upcoming live sale. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Red hot mama, red hot mama, I'm the one you need. Red hot mama, some chala, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies. Hot tamales, you say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Spangali. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. And unless I miss my guess, the boys will follow me around. I can make a Texas farmer, forget his hay, make the devil.
throw, throw, 